Uh, hello everyone, um, greatest apologies about um, um, the Great Western um, live stream. Sadly, that's not going to be a possibility, at least for today. Because um, as soon as I load the train, as soon as I go into the cab view, the scenario crashes. Um, I'm not too sure why. It could be because I've loaded um, lots of assets in the area, so um, I will remove some of those assets and um, um, hopefully we'll be able to um, replay that next week. Um, you should be able to see a black screen at the moment. Um, if I just move my mouse around, there we go. Yep. Um, we're currently loading the Norwich to London route. I've turned my graphics settings down. Um, this was um, um, just to make sure everything worked okay for the um, Great Western Mainline stream because it kept crashing at high, then it crashed at medium, then it crashed at low. So um, don't expect the greatest graphical quality for this route, uh, sadly. Um, but anyway, we're um, going to have a fresh start. Norwich, London, Liverpool Street in the Armstrong Powerhouse, class 321. Uh, right, so let's say hello to everyone in chat. Uh, hello to Essex Mainline. Um, I hope you're doing well. Um, Really sorry about the late um, start of the stream. Um, also joining us in um, voice call today will be um, JP Rollway Photography. I keep wanting to say JP Rollway Photography 2020, but you're JP Rollway Photography 2021 now, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Indeed. Hello, and yes, we are at Norwich, and we do stop at Liverpool Street, so that's all good. Here we are. We have the I new Duck Hud installed. Norwich, so there's no problem doing. Nice to London, Got a nice screenshot there. Once I edit the video, um, I will edit out the first bit. Um, if you're watching back this video, you would not have seen that. I think everyone's tired these days. Very tired, yeah. Yeah, it's just that there's not much um, else to do during the lockdown. I can see where you're coming from. I've been on roll replacement buses all day long. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, yeah. Roll replacements indeed. Yeah. So, um, they are rail replacement services on the Great Eastern Main Line at the moment, aren't they? I'm just trying to. Um, how do you turn the DSD off in this cab? You press the. Oh, Press the arrow key. Arrow key? On the right. On the right. Yeah. Oh. On the left, if you're sitting in that position. Yes. Um. Oh, yep, there we go. Driver vigilant. Oh, driver vigilance device, and then how do you turn it off? Press on the driver vigilance. There we go. And then that's turned off the DSD. Happy days. That's all good. Yeah, it drives me crazy. Like yeah, it's really annoying, particularly when you're looking at exterior views and then the DSD goes off and it slams itself into emergency brake. And you can't reset the brakes. Yeah, that's really annoying. Services for Arena are a replacement on weekends. Um, expect, cause, um, yeah, they have been doing that for quite a few weeks now, haven't they? The best thing on is as well. I'll have a look. Oh yep, we haven't shut the doors. There we go. And we've also got the new um chiming doors. No. The three two one. Is normal. We actually do have a twelve car set today. We have my stalker three two one three three eight at the rear. As a one five six is coming in from lower stuffed. I'm sorry to say but three two one three three eight is parked up in certain two assignments in my all right, it's not going to be long before it's scrapped, that's good. Um, also, we do have a bit of a signalling glitch on the Great Eastern Main Line North. Um, so we might have to spat for a few signals. This is just, um, I'm not sure why it does this. Wow, an hour and 30 minutes from Pitsy to Raynham, that is a long time. To go under this bridge here. This seems to be the signal that's causing the problem. Uh, so we have a class 90 parked up in Norwich Crown Point Depot.
indeed. Very nice twelve car set. We have the Renatus at the front, um, blue doors um, or red doors in the middle even, and then the blue doors livery at the back. Right, I can't tap through this signal, so it means it must be green. Well, it is coming up as red. Uh, that was the train that left the Stanford Airport, it's waiting at trials for us to go past. This should be a green signal, it's definitely not a red signal. That's just a signalling glitch, another one I found on this route. Alright, just get my track up, listen front of me. <laughs> That's just a glitchy route. Um, the lines, oh, the uh, Brecklin line towards Fetford and Ely just diverged off from us. At Charles Junction, could take the A13 at the motorway, but both stations, of course, they need to take routes through country lanes. Yeah, um, it's annoying, but they have to. They have to stop at all the stations on route, don't they? I have installed this new dark card that's um, quite a bit more pleasing to the eye than the um, standard train sim HUD. Um, it is in a website, the website's all in German. Um, so. Uh, more access to knowledge. Um, oh, so um, are they making it sit? Um, are they are they making it like a fifteen minutes thing? They could make it like every fifteen minutes to knowledge. Just going to try and figure out whether that's um credible. Um, because they've only, they've only got ten Stadlers. Um, well, all of them are in service now, but they've only got ten trains that can do. Um, the Norwich to the London run, and if it takes, well, yeah, <laughs> they're really not reliable at the moment. And considering, yeah. um, considering that they would run fifteen minutes apart, you have five on each end, then that's not going to work. You're not going to have a um, fifteen minute frequency service. So I've seen it there, yeah, you got it off scenic lines. Are you doing the whole route from Norwich to London, Liverpool? Shit, yes, we are doing the entire route. We are doing um, the once a day evening service, which is operated by Class 321 from Norwich down to Liverpool Street. Um, we call at um, this, um, oh we go, we go direct to Ipswich, we call it this, Ipswich, Manningtree, Colchester and London, Liverpool Street. Stranger service is not a sniper though. So you starting at Ipswich. You mean second at two? Oh right, yeah. <laughs> I see. Yeah. I thought that was a level crossing, that's not a level crossing. It's just a shadow crossed by this um, bridge. I'm gonna do it for the eighth of month. That's a level crossing. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, and it's the 745s, but um, there is one service a day which is a 321, and a 745 isn't in train sim, so I thought why not do it as a 321? In the 90s, the, the 90s are good trains as well. Um, I'm going to do 15 minutes later. 
service here till next week. Alright. Let me just remind you, don't do the error I did. I'm gonna show you the error. Yep. Hopefully I won't do that error. Um so basically there is a um a route on train sim which um I found on UK Train Sim a couple of weeks back and I just shared it with Josh. Um it's called the Crouch Valley Line. It's an extension of the Great Eastern Main Line that runs from Shenfield, um well the Crouch Valley line is actually the line from Whitford to Southminster, but it includes that alongside um the line down to Southland Victoria. Um and Southminster. And so, yeah, but to Southminster as well. It's, it's a, um, it's a, it's actually a really well-made route. It's on par with some of the other DTG routes, and I really, and I really would like to drive um, a train on that. That was supposed to be next week's stream, but um, obviously with. So I'd quite like to drive um, on that route, and maybe a couple of weeks' time. Once you get the Great Western Main Line out of the way. Can I do that as well? I'm mean, creating sort of like a scenario pack. Oh yes, um, someone did make a um, London Torby South End Main Line. I had to look for that. Um, if that is, if that is if that does become commercially available at some point, then I'll definitely drive on it. Um, it seemed to be like a beta thing, and they never publicly released it. Thanks, um, so. Which is a That might be with the um, high, with the London to Faversham high speed because you get some of the C2C network down there as well. You get the line between Belking and um, Greys with that. I'm trying to find Whitford because my experience comes in the southern suburbs. And yeah, 387 would be quite good to do one of the evening services. There'd be quite a lot of liveries with that, that could be a good idea. Do you have the um? We have the X. Mm, I can't remember what the train operator was called. The X National X. No, it's not National Express. What was the company that did Tilbury South End before National Express took over? Tilbury. Was it? Yeah. Um. So you got that green livery. Um. You got the National Express livery, and then you got the C2C livery, and then there's tons of sub liveries within that. There's By all means, refill your coffee if you have to. Um, this line is very flat. It's like the flattest <laughs> line. Yep. You know, I remember travelling along here, it was actually in a 755 that I travelled from Norwich to Stowmarket and it was that really crowded train we went on back in August. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah that, was, that, was, that, that was actually painful. Um, you, could really, you could just about see out the window, it just seemed to be... It, well, it just looked a bit like this, like the standard train <laughs> route template, it was just green, green. Yeah, 
Baker and Tulsa. How long do you drive now? We will be driving um, from Norwich to London, Liverpool Street. Um, that should take. Um, just trying to work that out. That should be just under two hours. Um, we just left Norwich, so it'll be about another. Yeah, it'll be just under two hours. Um, from yep, from Norwich to London, Liverpool Street, in the class three two one. The Armstrong Firehouse Class 1930. And guess what? First for the AP pack, we have, oh, it's, we have a pretty mediocre passenger view, um, which um, this, this one actually had in. This is 1900. Um, That's a 1930 train. Mm, we will be doing an express service, but we're in a um, semi-fast slash commuter service, um, which is slightly odd, but it's one train a day that does this. Um, we stop at this Ipswich, Manning Tree, Colchester, and then direct to Liverpool Street. Is this express? Let's go for that. Welcome back. Whoa! He got it really fine though. Did you see that? Oh yeah, And truck just drove straight through the train as well. The whole line will be disrupted indeed. Jameson does have the class 360s. Um, it comes with the GML um, By default, if you, if you do own the um, Great Eastern Main Line from London to Ipswich, that is the stock train you get in the route. Um, but the 360 in Trainsome is not really that good unless you have the 360 enhancement pack because the sounds and the physics are just terrible. And it's also not up to date because I don't think there are any 360s or, or very few 360s left in service now. They're all up with East Midlands Railway. We have arrived at this nearly three minutes early. That's not too hard. Stadler's arrived at early. <laughs> One part of a Stadler. I'm just trying to see if you can switch tracks. On platform three to um, platform one. Thank you. Can. Well, 360s used to do lots of runs. Um, they used to go Colchester, Colchester Town, Ipswich, um, Clacton, and some Walton runs as well from it. Not from Ipswich, from Colchester. And here we are. We've rover around a tiny bit, but um, the door should still open. No, of course, because it's trains and the doors don't open. Anyway, we've arrived um, ridiculously early here again. At least the whole train fits. This is indeed Trainsim 2021. Sorry, I missed your message there. Can you do Bedford to Littlehampton? Um, no. You can't, I'm afraid. You can do Bedford to St Pancras International, but I don't actually have that route, so... Um, but that is definitely a possibility. It's quite. It's a route that I quite like to get sometime. But 
you can do bad with Brighton. Uh, yes, with the Thames Link route merge, you can drive from Bedford to Brighton now. Or or bed or I think you can. I oh know you can't yet because um, some or this person that is very good at route merging. I think you can do Bedford to Littlehampton, but you only get as far as home. If that's useful. Someone did make a um Southern Lines um route where you can drive um, literally everywhere um, in the south so you can do ones down to Littlehampton but that has a ton of requirements and I don't have half of them. What about King's Cross to Edinburgh? Yes I already have a video where I drove from King's Cross to Edinburgh that is on my channel I did that and then class 800 Zuma. I know what I'm going to do now. Up instead to Romford <laughs> <laughs> In the three one seven. If you drive from um, King's Cross to Edinburgh in real life, if you drive a passenger service, it will take you around about four and a half hours. But in train sim, I reckon you can do it in about um, under four hours. Just love those door sounds. I'm going to save this now in case 317 crashes. No. We do have. Sort of a Renatus motor sound. I'm going to use the piece of mine as a backup for the 357. Oh, we haven't got the tail lights on. Oh no, stop turning the tail lights on. Hello. Really? With, with the East Coast Main Line modes, you can do London to Edinburgh. She can without taking a break. It takes up five hours. No, Great Anglia don't go down to Hartminster. They did used to do, but they don't do anymore. That service has been taken over by London Underground now. Can you derail in Train Sim 2021? Yes, you can. That's happened to me too many times. I've already derailed in Train Sim all these men. <laughs> this is still up. It is an AI that's been sunk to people when under one track. So, I assume you went over a set of points that were set in the wrong direction for the other train uh, and then you derailed. But still say on the route map they go to Rockminster. Yeah, they still got tons of the stuff they haven't t they took over from London Overground. Uh, that was taken over by London Overground, they still got that on their um, route map, so they've got all the Lee Valley lines on it as well. Right, what's my chariot to Hutton's? That's what I want to know. First of all, let's move the train now. Um, if you skip too many stations in train sim, um, well, it depends on what kind of g on what game mode you're playing. If you're playing on career, then you'll have a considerable amount of points taken away from you, which will affect your overall performance. Uh, if you're playing in standard, um, we'll say that you haven't completed the scenario successfully, but that won't impact your in-game performance, um, which is what I'm doing now. Just in case, you can see that um, I've got all ticks here. If you skip a station, it'll come up with it'll come up with a little cross instead, and at the end, it will say you haven't completed the scenario successfully. Eight nine two oh three one seven. What is it? Three eight seven. Yeah, I haven't updated the route map yet.
Uh, can you get kicked? Can you get kicked from the game? No, you can't. Um, just as well. Two bits Yeah, Jason, it's not a multiplayer game, unfortunately. It would be great if it was, but then that will cause other problems as well. Just a single player game, it's really open world, you can really do what you want in this game. Uh, the next stop we'll be passing will be Stow Market. Just north of Ipswich. And I say added that as well in the game. Nice investment. Might have a drive on the run for Drop Minster Branch uh, later. Uh, yes, oh yes, didn't read your message properly, sorry, um, we're going from Norwich, London, Liverpool Street. realised how weird the calling pattern is for this service. When I made this scenario I didn't think it was going to be this odd. Uh, yes, Norwich. Norwich. Uh, yes, Tim London. Nicknamed the Norwich and 90 service. She's not here anymore, but you can still get from North London in 90 minutes. There is a little choice services from London that I'm going to get I think that one still does run. They've stopped that service. Alright, yeah, because. Good service though, if you want to get direct to Ipswich from London, but it does run in the evening. There's one hour we have in Liverpool Street, and it gets to Ipswich about 11 55. Roughly, and it gets into Norwich about 12 07. How much that is? It's 90 minutes. Uh, yes, by all means, it is possible to drive faster than the speed limit. You can do this, um, and then it will say you're speeding. It will come up as a little, yeah, there we go. Um, so, um, again, if you're in career, oh, we just went for a red signal. We totally just did go for a red signal. Um, no, I sp um, oh, where are we passing? I think that was Holy Junction, wasn't it? That's where the line from Ely, um, Peterborough and Cambridge joins us from. Yeah, 
Someone is working on a roof from uh, Peterborough to Ipswich. Yeah, I saw that. That was definitely be an interesting one. So that'd be interesting. Right. Right, let's see if I can figure out how to um, sort out the 3 2 1 after an emergency break. Uh, this isn't normally what happens when you um, speed. Right, where do I put two whiskey 68? Uh, I've started this now, yeah. 30 minutes before my train departs. Can't remember how you okay, release the emergency <laughs> break. Who cares? How do you release the emergency I think, break? I, think, I don't think people care these days. How do you release the emergency? There, there was a button in the previous hub that let you do that. Hang on, let's just take the master key out and put it back in again. No, but I don't want to put it on the date. Yep, yeah, that's more like it. Is it doing that? Is the must key actually in control? Right. So look on the um, instruction manual. Just pause the game so we don't get any later. Um, AP class three two one instruction manual. Come on, play one five. Now you want it. Very good. Okay, setting up a driver's cab driving code. What's Same. this? Ah, it's one box shop 27 from Whitton, I don't know if it's true. Oh, it's 317. Oh, yeah, it's Alright, I see. If in the event of an emergency break application, you'll need to wait for the train to come to the stop. You must have your uh, reverser in neutral, the handle in off. Make sure that the brake handle is in emergency. And release. I don't want to make a 12 car pre on 5 2. Shit. There we go. Be interesting to see that, right? I oh, know, that's just us rolling down the hill. Um, that's not us gaining power at all, that's annoying. It's an enemy bird signal, right? I'm just going to make sure that we. I swear you're just moving forward. Yeah, it's because you're rolling down the hill. Right, this is... Turn the cab light on, there we go. Right, can we accelerate now? Nope, that's just us rolling down the hill again. Yep, Tratum is just being really silly today. We should be accelerating, it's in the release position. Just frantically looking through the instruction manual to see if there's uh, any information that will provide us. Meanwhile, we'll just roll down the hill towards Stone Market. Um, keep all controls. Um, destination indicator. I almost put on the on the screen on part to oh, the horn. Express passenger. Right, so the brake, the brakes obviously work, but um, we have no power. Right, the train is now in emergency. If we put it in neutral again and then try that, then do we accelerate or is the train uh, still in? Yeah, we have the we have the same problem again. I'm not sure why it's doing this. I'm gonna put this in the portal after wrong foot. Video. It's oh. usually a button here, but with the oh, just taking a screenshot. Um, but with the um, new HUD that I've installed, there is no um, manual emergency brake button. I'm just gonna have a look around the cab and then see if there is an option for the emergency brake. Um, right. Oh, that's the DSD. Right, we've now applied the emergency brake, we've now released the emergency brake. I'm just finding out if you can change the destination without pressing Epson and F8 on the scenario control. By pressing F8? No, you can't do that in the scenario editor. Just checking. 
yeah we're not able to accelerate there's no way we're going to be able to um, increase our speed sadly right let's try again reverse her into neutral breaks into emergency I haven't read chat in the past couple of minutes because I've been reading the instruction manual Yeah, speeding and career makes you lose your points um, and this route is very glitchy in terms of signals because you can see that the next signal ahead is definitely orange okay this is weird on a electronic dot matrix just go on the 315 correct and then say the destination yes, on the 315 let's try to sort out the train no there's no way we're going to be able to accelerate sadly we have no traction at all Yes, they did used to do the Clacton run. They, oh, it was actually one of the first services they ever did, was they did the line between Colchester and Walton on the Nays and Clacton on the Sea. With three one fives, yeah. Okay, that's weird. Not gonna have it. This train is very delayed. <laughs> yeah, there's no way of us getting to the next station unless we just roll down the hill until Stowe Market. That's a very different scenario. And I think I might call it a day at risk. It's just been too many things have gone wrong. How about you do that AP66 that you've shown me while ago? Oh, is that the RHTT? Yeah. Um, I might do that. See if we can do, because that's a nice route we can drive. Cause, yeah, this is just totally not working. Oh, now is the master key in. Right, one final try at getting this train to accelerate. Before we did the RHTT, Hey, we're accelerating. I forgot to put the master key in. All right. We're now very late, but we will get to Liverpool Street on time. I promise. This train pass will Stratford. pass Stratford. You won't stop at Stratford, but we will pass Stratford. Right, what number is this B two one to San Victoria? B two one three zero one. I think I've seen this one. Where did I take the master key? If the master key was out, then how did the reverser work? Yeah, that's what I want then. It's a bit of a realism issue. <laughs> um, I, to I, I, to I totally hold no responsibility for this. That's another red signal. We just spat through it. Hopefully after Ipswich we should get rid of these signalling glitches. Yes, I is very silly. Should I do 8 car 3 to 1 as A I to 7 to 12 car? Um, it depends what time you start in the scenario. Uh, then eight car. Mm -hmm. Right, well, we we will be passing straight time. through Stone Market. We should make up some time. Yeah, I reckon we'll arrive at Liverpool Street on time. As long as I'm, have any more I'm just going to have a look at the. Um, this is not a red signal. We should be able to go through it. And we are now passing Stone Market Station. I filmed here before. It's quite a nice station. Yeah, I've done it with you. I've been to Stone Market once. Yes, indeed you have. You went back when the 90s were around. I went. I was only here for like an hour. I went to Stone Market once. Yeah, I've been to Stone Market once. I'm just seeing if we have any engineering allowance that will allow us to make up some time. Um, we have one minute of engineering allowance at Stowe Market, so we pass Stowe Market three minutes late. That's no big deal. We have half at Ipswich Europa Junction, we have one at Manning Tree, we have one at Marks Tay, one at Chelmsford, uh, one at Forest Gate, or two at Forest Gate, and one at Stratford, so we should arrive at Liverpool Street on time. I'm just 
it's padding for every signal. Um, when will we be at London Liverpool Street? We will be, whoops, um, at Liverpool Street um, in real time just after 6 o'clock today. In game time we'll arrive at London Liverpool Street at um, 21.80 or 21.18 is when we're supposed to arrive. Oops, the cows. Lots of level crossings as well. Right, let's not speed again. Yep, indeed we do, that's unusual. Not a West Anglia platform. We're now passing Needham Market Station. We won't stop at Stratford, we'll pass straight through it there. My plan station is to um, go over to after lockdown. Stratford International, White Notley, Least Use Station in Essex, that's in the Braintree branch, uh, and nice. Raynham. I'd quite like to go to Raynham again. I haven't been to Raynham since 2016. Um, a lot has changed I since then. Um, as soon as we pass. Um, I'd kind of like to have one last ride on the East Midlands Railway HSD, so I might do a trip up to the East Midlands in one of them. Uh, hopefully in first class, um, if the tickets aren't stupidly expensive at a silly time of the morning. Oh, but there's only two left, aren't there? So it'll be in the afternoon. The HSTs, I think the last one is going to be removed in... Um, or, the, or they're going to be um, withdrawn in May, but that might be early because of COVID and stuff. But um, I'm really hoping that we'll be able to have one last road on them. Stratford International um, is a good station as well. Um, I really need to visit, revisit a high speed one. Oh, yes, indeed, we did have a similar ride a couple of weeks ago. to do with the Grand Canal I'm going to get a We've just passed Barham Stone Terminal. Yeah, just, I'm going to put a mix of these and then. Well, they're all London Underground lines, or all TFL lines. Um, that's yeah, something we quite like to do. Yeah. Um, four seven. Yeah, I've seen that. The record time um, to do all the London Underground and TFL um, lines it's is three sad. hours, I think it was 48 minutes, three hours, 48 minutes. Um, it'll be interesting to see um, if we can beat that. Indeed, one stop on all TFL lines. So is that um, um, I assume over your lifetime, not just um oh, just as well we did that. If you want to beat 3 hours 48 minutes, then you really do need to run. I mean, if obviously if there's no point running, then you don't need to run, but so for example, if you've got like a 10 minute connection, you don't need to run. But um, when you're underground, you can't check the um, tube trains because there's no service. Um, so yeah, it might be excited to run once you're in the tunnels. 
not a good challenge to question if they have some point. The snake challenge. One, two. What challenge? Oh yeah, the snake challenge that Tekken Dreams only one did. It's another fun challenge. Epi into heat mode. We might arrive at Ipswich on time. Just gonna make sure we arrive on the correct platform above everything. Oh no 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 no! Yep, there we go. That's sorted. All right, I'll just leave ourselves to decelerate. Um, we do arrive on the right platform though, which is good. Apparently, all the eighty sixes on it. So that's all we're doing. They are still doing some runs though, this um, 86s. I've got no idea why Trentum is still saying that um, we're going to come to Ipswich late. We've made up some decent time there. I've got Ipswich holding sidings on our left. You, um, in real life, you would see um, Freightliner services standing in here. So compare um, NYC subway to London Underground. I don't, I don't know very much about the NYC subway. Um, I know that there are a lot of lines. There are a lot of lines. Um, um, that's about it. Um, the trains. The trains have nice traction motors. Um, About <laughs> I don't have the greatest knowledge about it, sorry. Right, let's not go through the. Oh, it's not a red signal, is it? So we don't have to worry. We might still get TPWS there. But it seems to be a visual glitch. Have you arrived into Ipswich on time? Yes, we have arrived into Ipswich on time. I know, we're one minute late, but. Did you just pass the signal at Danger? Or was the signal going? Well, that's a glitch again. Oh. Right, where can I put this one? Right, let's depart. Can we depart? Oh, yeah. London Underground Transport for London, indeed. London Overground. Okay, Transport Ward. Forest Gate Junction just before Mayo Park, okay. That is 1 November 16. <laughs> London North Eastern Railway isn't part of TFL, sadly. When it's fully best of London North yeah, Eastern Railway isn't part of TFL. Yeah, that's on the circuit. Oh, the poor HST, so I would like to go on the HST. There will be at least one um, HST first class review this year, I promise. Regardless of whether it will be a slam door or a slidey door, there will be one. It's a shame that the first three two ones are being scrapped on um, Tuesday. Indeed, the three two ones um, that. Or the trains that are actually driving now are going to scrap. Six. On the 26th, or the first examples, um, 
they'll be dragged down to Newport docks um, where um, they will be scrapped sadly um, oh, thank god we didn't have any signal yeah there we go we're on the stock route now <laughs> yeah 13 trains are now gone you're all right so far There are a few others, there are a few more. Can you hear the GSMR? Yeah, I just heard the GSMR go. Two, three, seven, eight, eight. Yep, LNR is London Northeastern Railway. What's the signal? Oh, yeah, it's Uh, London North Eastern, I'm uh, spelling the vats, I'm quite ambiguous. It's LNER. Jim, you're autocorrect. Yeah, it's got one headlight and two marker lights, so you need to make sure that's turned the marker lights on. No, it's an AI. Oh, the AI, the AI, then the AI won't have turned its marker lights on. Thanks for tuning in, by the way. Hello, Rob, hope you're alright. Had a bit of a weird start to this stream, but we're now right into it. Yes, wash your hands, hands, face, face, whatever they say. Yes, because it's um, trying to reduce the quickest route between two, any two points. I've sent it down to Gilead Park. 
Yeah, because we'll take the fast lines down to Gilly Park and then cross over just before because there's a junction. And now it's coming back. So now we're going from the fast lines down to Gilly Park. Just right, we're short of here, we're moving into Manning Tree Station. Just can't get any fun with on this. So it's the. Uh, Okay, I can make. I saw one of the clothes, but I'm not going to give you a photo. Of course, though. Nope. Right. I know that's the AWS turn itself off. That's good. Oh, got a 2A light coming in. Got 12 clock, 3, 2, 1 coming in. That doesn't, that's not nice inside number. Oh, yes it does. Oh, she's got enough covers. Right, that's Manning Tree. That's not East Junction, is it? East Junction's further along. But anyway, that is the um, line that avoids Manning Tree for services that go to Harwich. You might see some freight services uh, in real life that take that route. As in, those are services, usually GBRF services, um, that go from, say, like places like Doncaster, um, Birch Coppice, places like that. Anything that goes via. Um, um, anything that goes to Harwich that comes from um, Ipswich ways from the Great Eastern Main Line. Um, I we could. That just passed me this fast line. Yeah, train sim does that. Red signal, lovely stuff. That's just not TPWS it because that would be very annoying. We just need to stop at the. Really hope we didn't go into emergency there. No, we didn't. Oh, we haven't fit the entire train there on the platform yet, which is... We can't fit at all on the platform. We'll try and fit ourselves on the platform as best we can. I think that's about as good as we're going to get. Zero, zero. Two, twenty. See what this does in that gives me. Oh, <laughs> Alright, yeah, we're now. These units are doing half of these. I did used to. I do. I remember the days when Greater Anglia used to do the Three Valley lines. That was ages ago, wasn't it? I remember going on. Um, it was. It was actually the first day that London Overground took over um, the services on the Lee Valley lines. It was the first day um, with the three fifteens and three seventeens now in service. Um, I went down to Chingford, I went on a 315 that was still in the Greater Anglia livery um, as in it still had the red doors um, but it had London Overground branding on it um, that was one of the first services out, down, um, out of Chingford and then later on in that day um, I saw what at the time was the only London Overground liveried 315 and I got that um, up to Enfield Town so that was a... Quite lucky though. I remember going on a mixture of 315 down to Enfield Town in Liverpool Street. Oh nice. This is back when not all of them have been painted yet. And the front was the blue the big film five and the rear was the white blue film five. That's fine, don't worry. Quite lucky to get that. Indeed we are very lucky. I think it's quite angry. Either quite like to do a um not sure if well one thing I quite like to do is do um um actually it was you Essex Mingland that recommended this a couple of weeks ago is to do sort of train spotting and train sim because I know it's possible if you do a free roam scenario, um and don't set any drive player train as your or any, don't set any player train as the tr yeah, train you'll be driving. Give you some advice. I've tried that once and it didn't go. It's it's it is very hard to do. You have to you have to be um, very good at optimizing scenarios, um, which is something I'm slowly getting the hang of. For once, I'm actually doing a scenario where I don't have to send spring seven to a corporal. No, I see. Because on the GML is on to Texas. Every time there's a train to Armstrong, yes, you have to send it to Armstrong corporal. 
At least you don't have that anymore, you can just shuttle it back and forth. But I might actually prepare a video of that. I might actually um, prepare a train spotting video and train sim. It will, um, it will all have to be quite short, sadly. Um, because there's, there is a limited number of trains you can put in certain certain blocks on routes. Um, well, you could do something like the Western Main Lines, where you could, where you've just got a massive line you can just stack trains into. Maybe you could do it even more. I'd quite like to do something local, so I might start or, or I, something local is in the East Coast Main Line that I have all the DLC for. Um, so I could do that um, to start Maybe off and. Local. And they'll start taking requests because obviously we can't do um, real physical train spotting at the moment. It probably looks like we probably won't be able to for the next few weeks. Is that now Potter's Bar and Train. I mean, we could do Potter's Bar and Train some. You could do it in the 2018 timetable. Oh yes, we need to do it in the 2018 timetable because then we still have the 91s around. A few 801s, but. Now, 2018, we wouldn't have any 801s. We could do in 2019. Ah, but then you, you need to have the perfect balances. It's a tough one. But yeah, def I would quite like to do that sometimes. Because in 2019, as soon as you are on top. I'd probably first try to tell me about this and the the livery of Persian Chinese because they had to go back to somewhere to be repainted into the Aeronial River and Spurgeon lost the franchise at the time. It's a shame, I do like I do like the livery on the um I did like the um Virgin Trains um Azuma livery. So they just look really nice. It looks, I mean, the yellow and the yellow livery is quite nice, but I prefer the Virgin Trains one. Considering, considering that LNER has been the most successful franchise in East Coast Mainline for about 10 years. Do you going to Peterborough? We could do, or we could do, um, do a, um, um, a video at St Neots because sometimes um, a couple, uh, a few weeks back when the East Coast Main Line was shut, um, LNL were terminating at St Neots. I was thinking of heading up there when that was happening, but um, we were in lockdown at the time. I don't live near Sydney yet, so it would be a silly idea. I used to know that Alright, we're now arriving at Colchester, the halfway point on the Great Eastern Main Line. We're joining up with this. Sunshine. Yep, line indeed. The Sunshine Coastline has just joined us. And I don't know what the branch to Walton would be called. No, that's that's all. Um, that's all the shot Sunshine Coastline. Oh, is it? Oh. Colchester is the longest platform, or the longest um, platform structure in the UK. Um, it's this platform you can see um, just ahead of us. Platform four and platform three. Um, if you count that all as one platform, it would be the longest platform in the UK. Fun enough, that's where we spotted platform 4. Indeed was. quite like to go back to Colchester sometime, because my um, handiwork wasn't that good at Colchester, was it? Um, we did get a lot of variety there, which is good. We got the bulk of the and evening peak. Gadlers at speed. Oh yes, we did. That was probably one of my best Stadler passes I ever caught. Even better. Very funny tone on the stagger. Yes, we did. We got lots of tones there. We stood. Well, we got about two minutes there, but we 
What is it saying? Me. We stood about here, didn't we? Oh no, we stood further up, didn't we? So we just we stood. We did switch to platform one. I, I think need it was to about catch here. the sixteen degree to little shape, which was the twelve car Renatus. We also filmed here to see up to see the Renatus go, and then we saw a few other trains arriving. It's just scary how realistic it is, right? Oh, yep, yeah, we failed to stop again. Next up will be London Liverpool Street, um, where we'll be arriving in um, about forty-five minutes' time. Just need to close the passengers' doors. And we are now ready okay. to depart. I've got 15 miles an hour limit, air of one foot limit, 30 miles an hour. Yeah, nice. We have to have called just the two minutes early despite it saying we've arrived late. That's weird. Welcome to the service for Adminster. We'll be calling at Edmund Park and Adminster. So I might start production of that, um... I wonder what happens if I edit this in the world and I do something funny and send this film to platform one out. <laughs> the only thing will work, but I'm going to attempt to see what it does. Our RW Nazo just looks so nice, even with low graphic settings. Platform 1A never gets used as much on special occasions. Shame C2C so didn't do a day long from ovens to graves in the daytime on the weekday. Because mm. one, it could help out capacity, and two, it would be a good service to do. Let's see you in a bit, Essex Moon Line. Um, we didn't see you before then, St um, and do definitely stay safe. We should be ending the world from at 6. We should, um, yeah, just after six. Yeah, I'm about to leave one point. Forty seconds. So the three, two, one has no lag time chin tone, so it's very good to do. Funny things oh, of the that's time. Good. That's a good screenshot. That's a nice screenshot. We could do a nice one of it um, in the sunset. I was thinking if we just if we just go past here and then we could do a. Right, let's try this one again. Want to sort of be more on that angle and you want to catch the sunset and boom okay, the motors. um is this off your f um 317 yeah and they are going over the sound of the f um 321 i think the window is open that's not we can open the window there yeah. that was that was a tone i think Right, let's play around with the destinations. Right, what destinations have we got that are funny? Uh, yes, hello CP trains. Um, I haven't checked chat. Um, hope you're doing well. Think of funny destinations we could set our train to, but there's yeah, we'll set our destinations up, oh, Minster. Why not? Oh, yep, yep, we've done it again, haven't we? We've gone into emergency again. We do still have um, some route glitches, but we I do know how to fix it again. Um, I was about to set our destination to. Yeah, 
marks today. <laughs> Hopefully. We, we, we will have time to catch up though because we've left early. 5542 Upminster. Can you hear the motors now? No, not quite. I'm now merging away from the GML. Yes, indeed. This is the Armstrong Powerhouse Class V21. Um, it's a very nice train. Um, the route is a bit buggy though, which is a shame. I'm just going to go into the big HUD so we can take the master key out. Um, the train will completely forget we've slammed it into emergency. Put the train into neutral, put the master key back in again. Forward. Into emergency, out of emergency, and we can accelerate. Or can we? Right, train into neutral. Emergency, I'm not going through this procedure again. And release. Are we releasing? Oh no, it's trying still in neutral, yup. Again a very another very silly mistake. I cannot stop admiring this destination on this very seven rate says up and stuff. I I'll, I'll see if there are any more interesting destinations you can get on the 317. Is the AP321 yes. A downloaded manager. It says I'll arrive into Emerson Park. 13 seconds left. Oh, no. If you can't hear the motors, I'm driving the AP317. Uh, try, um, with the destinations, try, I'm just trying to think of a funny one, try 00204. Okay, let's see, let's see what point that one is. Bedford. <laughs> This is back when they used to do the bed pun. We're now approaching Amazon Park. Change here for completely nothing. <laughs> Maybe a foot crossing if you're lucky. Change here for a foot crossing on your door. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Still determined to arrive into Liverpool Street early, we should do. Amazon Park Court is different to play to with my on the GMO and the loop switch. Just want to make sure. Yeah. It's not all that bad driving without AI actually. <laughs> I invest lots of my time putting AI into um, routes of train sim, but thinking, do I really need to do this? Can I um, just do the train itself? That could be a good idea. And we do have a yellow yes, yes. signal up ahead, which Excellent. means we'll have a red. Every time I go past the signal, I'm just going to make sure it's of the green aspect. If it's not of the green aspect, or if it's not a, it's not if it's not a perceived aspect, then I'll obviously click tab. Now passing Kelvedon Station, another place I quite like to film. I definitely like to go back to the Great Eastern Main Line as well sometime. That's very high up on my priority lift for after lockdown. Oh. 
Okay. I think they've done a good job with the Pilgrim 7. Mm. Nice to see the um, 720s um, service as well. Mm. I tried to make a scenario from the person of the red line, but it was in the I tried to make a snarl on the Portsmouth direct line, but it failed when I played it as the signals wouldn't let a train through as it blocked me. Hmm. There's an interesting thing, or the signalling on um, train simulator is definitely questionable. Um, Are you on the back? It doesn't really depend, uh, and regardless of um, what route it is, it will use the same signaling engine, but um, a common problem is that um, if you're on the same signal block as another AI train, um, if you spawn in the same signal block, then both signals will be set to red, so no train can move whatsoever, so both the AI and you get completely stuck. Um, That should um, sort itself in the scenario, but sometimes it doesn't do that. Oh, that will be a very nice foot crossing to come to. Wow, look at that. I'm not sure whether this foot crossing still exists in real life, but just outside of Whitham, wow. Look at that. It's a very nice short route. It's only a oh, but what would we do without the one for development to branch? It's so useful. For example, if you're coming along the C2C network and you want to get into Liverpool Street, um, then I mean, or well, let's say you want to get from I don't know. Let's say you want to get from let's say I don't know Basildon to but, but yeah, Basildon to Shenfield. Um, you could either, I assume there's a bus between the two, or you could get um, Greater Anglia, or not Greater Anglia, you'd have to get C2C um, all the way down to either Limehouse or um, Fanchurch Street. I'd have to change to Greater Anglia from Stratford or Liverpool Street. Change the from the district line to the Please remember to the ones the Hatfield Pev. How's that one actually? Hatfield Pev looks completely different in train sim to what it looks like in real life. I think you could train sim in mean, the detail on the stuff. We so we got a nice evening sun on us. Uh, where would we be without our Dublin enhancer? And I say that now, but uh, we really want to have a rear view of the train. This is however many screenshots I've taken today. Now nah, that's too. Want to zoom in a bit? Uh, let's still get the sun in. I don't think we can do that just of yet. I'm not sure if two trains wanted to get into a platform, they had the same priority, but when I tried to giving the AI a different priority to each other, the game up came up with an error. Oh, okay. <laughs> not sure why that error has happened. Yeah, but, um, Trainsum is very weird with its pathing. Um, because sometimes, um, it might make, um, another AI train that you put, um, on a different track to which you're spawning, and you'd expect to go on the other platform to you. Sometimes it can be re it can be routed onto your track, um, which means that um, obviously if you're heading towards it, all the signals will go red. Well 
still shot the same time. Yeah, CP drones are a recommendation I have for you if you're in scenario editor um, is um, you know when you're um, creating the timetable for a service um, and you have um, the main menu where you can add like passenger stops and final destinations and pass throughs and stuff like that oh that's just a more of board for the 85 um, next to it there should be a map um, if you um, oh that's a 60 more for board um, I forgot what I was going to say now, um, if you just, um, or have a look at the map and then click on the little, um, icon, one of the top, um, icons in the top right hand corner of the map, that should show you a route of where, um, of what, where the train is going to take, um, highlighted in red, and just make sure that's the correct route that you want the train to take, um, I find that a useful feature when I'm editing my scenarios. Now I hope you to see if whether a train is going to take the right path or whether it's going to um, collide right into you, something like that. I'm now going to do a to seven, so. Starting to plan places to film after lockdown, is that a good idea? <laughs> um, by all means, yes. Planning trips is, I think, is um, part of the fun of it. Um, it's Ken it's probably not very good to plan trips during lockdown. Um, I have um, a lot planned, um, um, but it's, it definitely gives us motivation for the we'll be back train spotting after lockdown. So it's good that we have um, uh, lots of trips in store. Yes, I I personally do like planning my trips. It was the right path. Okay, I'm not sure why it's doing that. And Clapham Junction is included in the Clapham Junction? Yeah. Not sure why. Oh, Clapham Junction, is, is, um, does it come under a list of um, required assets? Does it just come up as like um, Brighton no, Main? Um, what oh. other stations were included? Does it use the Brighton Main Line or the South Western Main Line? Or? It comes up with yeah, I forgot to mention we also passed Chelmsford Parkway which is a proposed station supposed to open in, in 2025 Parkway. So that's going to be a um, proposed station between Hatfield, Peveril and Chelmsford which is going to open in hopefully in 2025 it's ju I've just got it on my track atlas in front of me which um, shows on. <laughs> hmm. I got about eight miles to go till Shenfield, um, passing Engate Stone along the way. Shenfield, um, quite high on my priorities list of places to film after lockdown. Quite a good to yeah, Hatfield Pebble as well. Now oh, the brain tree services don't stop anymore, do they? Very nice sunset. Look at that. Perfect. Can't quite see that in the um, distance below, but it'd be quite good if you took a screenshot from behind. But we have many of those already. There's two trains being undecided on what platform to go in, and I was meant to go on the track on of one of the trains after it left. All oh, right, so you just um. 
Hmm. You might not have designated which platform the train is supposed to go via, but it does happen sometimes that um, trains go on the wrong platform between certain destinations, even when you specify. Now, talking of railways, what else has happened this week? Um, East West Rail being given nearly a billion pounds of funding. That's the rail link between Oxford and Cambridge. SWR 701s have been delayed. Uh, yeah. Oh yes, SWR 701s have been further delayed um, because of software issues. Some of them are having to be sent back to Litchurch Lane again. Um, reminds us that the 701s were supposed to be in service at um, in 2019, so they're very late already. Um, 391.19, um, it's Pantagor fell off just south of Crewe, so that's been taken out of service. 391.19 being the train we drove only a few weeks ago from London Euston to Birmingham New Street. Yeah, in real life, um, it's Pantagor fell off, so it, um, it's big, it, it, it was dragged to, um, long sight last week from Crewe. Um, and also the first um, class 69 has run run under its own power. Those are the new. Um, the class 69s. I think the class 69s are the refurbished class 56s, but I'm not too sure. Oh yes, 769s have been in service for some time with transport flows. They're going to enter service with Northern very soon as well. Is that a transport for Wales one? No, no I think it's unit number for 769-001s of transport for... Oh, so you mean 799-001? No. They have been on test, haven't they? Uh, Northern um, 769s are 769-4s. 69s are Yin Yang class 56s, yes they are. I'd say they are 56s. I've just searched up 769424 on Google and it's come up with various different genes. Hex color codes, as you'd expect. British Royal Class 769, there we go. I don't want to know about genes or hex codes. Um, 7644 failed. Bitcoin updates. Independent articles from 2008. That's not what we want at all. I can't find anything on 76944 failing, sadly. I have found a lot more than that. Which is probably completely irrelevant and stuff that the internet will never read. We have a red signal up ahead, just as well we figure that out. And oh yes, I'll tell you what else we do have. We have a seventy-five. Right, we're now passing Shenfield. Yeah, Shenfield's really nice. I'd really like to go there again. And we have no platforms here. 
Again, a scenery glitch with a new route substituted the platforms from one of, one of the requirements I don't have. Once again, we have just passed Shenfield. And we just passed Ingrave Summit, which is the summit for the line, or the highest point on the line. In Brentwood Station. Right. Question: um, Do you know whether the um, Class One Seventies, or any of you, um, either Josh or anyone in chat, um, do you know if the One Seventies used to go to Sudbury? I don't think they did. the best thing to do would just be search up class 170 at Sudbury or something like that. Um, they might have done the Cambridge and... Um, okay, that's not bad. I'm trying to find their walk platform. Let's try to go for another sunset screenshot. Oh no, we can't do it. No, we can't do it. Still can't do it. I, I did get a quite nice... Um, I could just do a nice trackside screenshot while we have it um, slightly from the sides just so we get oh, our tree just so we get the entire train in yeah, I know we are speeding and do that like so we'd quite like to move down the line a bit further why is it saying we're not speeding anymore now it is that was so embarrassing. without RW Enhancer. So this RW Enhancer gives um, very nice shadows and life weather. Should I use class 360s on my bedpan scenarios? That could be a good addition to the route because um, they are Going to enter service, we have another red signal. They will, or they will be entering service very shortly. That could be a good. That could be a good thing to do. Giddy Park car sidings and shortly followed by Rumford Station. Oh, shortly followed by Giddy Park Station, then by Rumford Station. Giddy Park, another station quite like to come to. I could combine Giddy Park and Shenfield in one day perhaps. But mainly because it has no barriers. And yes, thanks for recommending this to me, um, CP Trains. And Josh, I know you filmed there a couple of times as well. Station? Giddy Park. Oh, yeah. 
Alright, the line from Upminster has joined us. We have Josh was driving all that um, a couple of minutes ago. Yep. I've finished this now already. Quite like to do a Couch Valley um, in Train Sim. That's definitely coming. Yeah, that's next week's stream. Well, next week will be the Great Western, but um, I'll try and optimise it as much as possible. And we'll hopefully be playing in high graphics settings as well. Description well, was South Victoria to the Middle Street. Well, it's a shame we, well, yeah, we might have to push back, back, back to two weeks from now um, because I just need to optimise the Great Western scenario so that it works um, without it crashing. Because I'd quite like to do that again ne next week because I tried this week. According to train sim, that signal does not exist. Is the um, St Pancras to Bedford scenario? Um, is it um, or the not the scenario? Is it is the route electrified? I think it is. I was so annoyed because the barriers at Romford and Giddy Park was one stop up the line. My 86 shot was ruined, but I still got my most video um, by like 250 views, so it wasn't all that bad. Yes. Romford's good because you get um, a mixture of the London Overground as well. I mean, Wormford would probably be better for the views, but Goodyear Park would be better for the shot. Uh, were they just not running that day, or did, we, did you not get around to filming them? Just as well, you didn't film at Ilford. Yeah, before being kicked off. Yeah, don't go to Ilford, don't go to Ilford. The Starker, Fender Pickett, Sand South and Victoria. In half the time, the staff don't know what they're talking about. They call the police on you at Ilford. Oh, oh, 86 is retired now. No, they're not. They nearly are. You might catch one of them on the Great Eastern Main Line if you're lucky. They're doing um, good services, but. I think there's, yeah, there's four units left in service that are 86s, um, but all this stuff, um, it used to be operated by 86s, it is now operated, um, are we on time now? Yes we are. Um, is now operated um, by Class 90s, yes we were lucky to catch them in the last month of service, definitely. Um, you're very lucky to get um, <laughs> onto the Great Eastern Main Line in the first place, because you only had two... Um, yeah, like a two two week sandwich between either side of the lockdown and we have another red signal, no we don't um Emergency has happened again. The stream is just buffing on me. Yeah, my internet's being really slow. 
What might be happening? Welcome to my world. <laughs> yep, we are buffering a bit, aren't we? Planny St Pancras is a good station to film at. Yes, it is. Yes, St Pancras is a very good station to film at. Do go there. Yes, we do have some buffering. That's my Wi-Fi. Apologies. If it is at all possible, then um, do try turning down your um, video quality. If you do have the great, if you do have the um, Great Eastern Main Line in um, train sim, um, or as in the Norwich extension of the Great Eastern Main Line in train sim, and you manage to drive the entire route um, without spadding, then I will buy you a cookie. I don't know if you can drive to South Victoria with that. St Pancras is good. The staff at St Pancras are nice, at least on the um, East Midlands Railway. Excuse me, East Midlands Railway side, they're nice. Some people have been saying that you need to sign in at every terminal. No, you don't need to do that. 10 10. Yeah, we have a stable internet now, there we go. This night shouldn't take me long to do. Yeah, I've got an internet meter on my phone. It's currently saying 104 kilobits per second, which is enough to load a YouTube video. <laughs> and we're going, we've gone back down to 68.9. And we've gone back up to 91, so we're good. <laughs> now passing Maryland Station, station just before Stratford. I am going to pass through Stratford. Um, Relatively slowly, because um, they did used to do that. Great offer, yes, it is. And welcome back to that six minute Great yeah, offer. Great. I'll tell you what's a great offer. Today's video sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Um, the Norwich route extension is available on the Steam Workshop. Um, that's if you have Train Simulator 2021. Um, um, if you have the yeah, if you have the Great Eastern Mail, or the, if you go on the Steam Workshop page, um, I will just send that through. Yep, some of the platforms haven't loaded. I know. <laughs> um, I will send the link through in chat very shortly. Um, and we have arrived into Liverpool Street early, I told you. Um, um I'm just I'm just sending the um page through. Um then you can it's it's a workshop it's a third party workshop add on. Um so um you can just or you click subscribe to it and you get the West Angle name. Um, there's a lot of um, root add-ons on um, third party as in third party add-ons in Train Simulator 2021. I can't actually find. I can't actually um, access the Steam website. I don't know whether it's down or it's been deleted. I just can't. I just can't access it. Um, it is available on Alan Thompson Sim, so as soon as I find a copy of it, I will link it down in the description below. Yes, it is available for train sim. It, it is a bit glitchy though, probably because I don't have all the requirements, some of the signals aren't registering them properly. I'm going to search train sim now. This is one of the reasons why I love Train Sim so much, is it has such a big fan base. That's why it's so customizable. Wow. 
lost 14 more points. If we get TPWS at the last minute, that would be so sad. Now passing Bethnal Green, one of my favourite stations in London. Yeah, the route mergers are really good. There's one with the Chatham Main Line and the North London Line. That um, allows you... I'm making one scenario, which is 6 Lima 37 Who Junction up yard, I want to say. Who Junction up yard to Whitemore LDC GBRF. And I'm taking that down the Chatham Main Line. Um, and then across the West London Line, North London Line to Haringey, where it goes on to the East Coast Main Line. I do. I would quite like to do another freight scenario at some point. The route mergers are really good. I'm not sure how they do it. I assume they just. Um, yeah, it's clever. I assume they must just put two um, load two massive routes together, um, get rid of the assets in the middle, and then put custom stuff in. Oh yes, I I really do want to get the South Eastern high speed um, for Trent in World 2. Um, it is, um, just a pick, um, plug for it, it is available to pre-order now um, on the Steam store for a cheaper price. Um, it becomes available on the, twen on the 20, on the, on the 4th of February. That's when you'll officially be able to play it. I will do a stream on, on the 4th of February, I'm not entirely sure. Um... What date is the 4th of February? It's a weekday, so it won't be a, um, the usual Sunday stream, but I will do it as soon um, as is um, incredibly possible. Fingers crossed I can get the surface in high speed for tracing well when it comes out. Yes, if you buy it, you can, you can get it cheaper if you buy it now, actually. you can. It's available to buy now, but you won't be able to drive it until the 4th of February. indeed but you get the entire route down to um Faversham from St Pancras. The free sound part looks horrible. So weird how we're we coming on this. Someone needs to someone needs to make um a the three seven five. Or the sound or the sound pack there must be a way to import train some sounds into train some world. Oh, the beautiful canopy of Liverpool Street you don't get to see when you come onto the Great Eastern Main Line side of the station. Look at that. You don't always see it when you come in the Great Eastern Main Line side. It's very odd. I assume this one goes to Orient Way afterwards, doesn't it? I, sh I assume so. That's why. That's the only reason I could think of that it goes. No, the barriers at Bethnal Green. Um, you can work. You can work with them quite easily. There, it's annoying they're there, but if you go to the um. Liverpool Street side of the platform, there's an area which has um, low barriers. Um, you can actually, I think, you can pretty much stand. Um, or there are, there, are a few, there are a few raised sections where you can stand on and you can um, lift a camera above the barrier easily. Right, where is she going? So, Bethnal Green, definitely, definitely recommend. And here we are. It's going back to Ipswich. Alright, okay. <laughs> That's interesting. Toll car to Ipswich. It's going to Ipswich at 2200. Okay, so it sits here for a bit. Oh, it goes to Noise TC. Wait, the 321 goes to Norwich TC? Apparently. I don't know. Right. Let's set the destination to something stupid. Um, let's set it for bad luck. You did not. Uh, you did not complete this scenario successfully. I think we did. Um, we arrived into Liverpool Street about oh wow, really early, nearly six minutes early. 
Uh, but yes, thank you very much for watching um, today's stream. I really do hope you enjoyed. It was quite event uneventful, and yes, train sim has crashed. Perfect. Um, and I will see you next week where we will do, hopefully, a redo of the Great Western Mainline. So um, until then, goodbye. Goodbye.